Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Capricorns. Capricorn, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Capricorns for their highest and greatest good. Okay, so we have the King of Cups in reverse as the overall energy. Your person could be a Gemini, lover's energy. They're viewing you as the Three of Cups, Capricorn. What you're not seeing is the moon in reverse. Okay, I am doing this reading on the full moon in Cancer. Um, but you could be dealing with like a Cancer or a Gemini, a Pisces, somebody with strong water in their chart. And the final outcome is the Five of Wands in reverse. So if you're looking for stability, it's there's potential here um, or reconciliation. And we have the Ten of Cups in reverse here, Capricorn. So it does feel like you are currently separated from this person um, or you're or you're unsure about the future of this connection. Now, with the King of Cups energy in reverse, it can be somebody who's not emotionally giving to the connection right now. Um, if there's somebody who's quite creative, they've been experiencing some creative blockages. And I'm also seeing, hmm, yeah, it, it feels like your person is like really, like, mm, they have a lot of emotion for you and I do feel they're going to reveal it. Um, but they may have shut down emotionally if you're in separation or you're not really talking right now, Capricorn. Um... Let's see. And we have the three of wands. Yep, for some of you, distance is an issue. It, either you or this person worry about the distance, if it's a physical distance. There's definitely emotional distance currently. And we get the queen of wands. Yeah, this person wants to manifest you, though. This person, I feel they want to manifest a reunion. It feels like you make this person really happy. I'm just going to key you in here, Capricorn. This person wants a relationship with you. If they're a water sign, especially like a Cancer here or a Pisces, although they could also have Gemini in their chart. Um, if, if you haven't been talking to this person or giving emotionally to the connection, if you've been focused on other things or you haven't been talking, this person's probably mirroring that. I'm getting an energy here of also like there might be misunderstanding you feeling as if like you don't care or you're not into them or you don't like them. Um, they see you as the lovers. Well, they're in the energy of the lovers card. They feel this is a strong connection between the two of you. Their wish fulfillment is to heal and to open up to you emotionally. I'm getting an energy here, Capricorn, that this person is really emotional about you, but you probably don't see it. Um, like I'm getting that this person like cries about you. Um, they might even tell you they were crying about you the other night. Just be aware of that. I'm getting like a really strong emotional energy off of this person. All right. They're viewing you as the three of cups. They might be worried that there's a third party or that you're with somebody else. Um, they feel like you're not giving to this connection. You might be really focused on work. Again, I kind of feel like this is cancer energy, your opposite sign. It could also just be this cancer full moon right now that's affecting pretty much everybody, right? But the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, this person might feel like you're not giving to this connection or maybe like you're not single. Maybe some of you aren't. I mean, it could be that they're a secret admirer. Yeah. See, this person doesn't want to be a burden for you, Capricorn. If you have somebody with strong water in your life, this person, like they cry about this connection and, and I don't want you to take that the wrong way. They're just much more emotional about it. They probably wouldn't show that to you. I do feel that they're trying to manifest you. The King of Cups in reverse can also be somebody who's quite emotionally messy. So I feel like they're they're feeling this full moon energy about you. And, and they're not going to show that to you because they don't want to be a burden. That's what I'm getting. Like they know that you've got a lot on your plate. Some of my Capricorns out there, you're very focused on your work right now. As always, right? It's a Capricorn trait. You're generally pretty steady and stable and prioritize like work and stability. And I feel like that person likes that about you. But it's like they don't want to be a burden and tell you like how they're feeling or what's going on with them. Um, but there is going to be some sort of reveal and it, it might be with this full moon. Okay, it might be, you know, today, tomorrow, within the next couple of days. 
Yeah, this person has a blocked throat chakra. Yeah, this person has a lot of mental conflict about opening up about how they really feel. Because I do feel deep down, Capricorn, this person's worried that you're going to reject them. Five of Wands in reverse, they want to heal things. If you want to heal things, it can happen. All right, but somebody here, yeah, it's... Mm. And we get the Nine of Swords. See, this is your person's energy. They're, they're losing sleep over you, over this connection. Um, it is possible that, you know, someone here is juggling. They might be worried that you are juggling. Um, I also feel, too, there's a little bit of mirroring because you might not be so sure how affected this person truly is. Like, you might also be a little bit like, why aren't they reaching out? Why aren't they talking to me? Um, and it's not what you think. It's actually they're quite emotional about you. They're really in their head. This person is losing sleep over you, Capricorn. Just know that. They want to heal things. You are their wish fulfillment. They might be waiting for you to reach out. My goodness. All right. Let's see what we need to know about this person. Okay. So this person might love poetry. Um, this person, I feel like when they do communicate, it's quite profound. Um, I feel like they've got a pretty good vocabulary or you've noticed that like you like the way that they express themselves. Um, they could also like poetry. Um, for some of you, I'm seeing like maybe some at some point they may have given you like a poetry book or something. Wow, this person, companion. So there's potential for this to be, to really be something Capricorn if you want it. Loyalty, tenacity, and unselfish. I feel you're connecting with a Cancer, but it really could just be this full moon in Cancer. And of course, I'm a little biased. I'm a Cancer, but we get beggar. So this person, it's like they don't want to beg, but they are, it's like really eating them up inside Capricorn about how you're feeling or like maybe why you're not reaching out. Um, even if you had clear communication with this person, um, and even if it's only been like, and I know this sounds quite clingy for some of my Capricorns out there, but even if it's been like a short period of time, this person stresses. It's like they don't want to come off as clingy and codependent. Um, and I don't feel like they are, but I do feel that they're really worried about expressing how they really feel. And they're, they're worried that you don't feel the same way. Okay, that's just coming through so strong. So this person sees you as, they like they, this person wants to, get rid of any obstacles between the two of you. I feel like with the lover's card and we see the companion energy and hero and heroine, this person sees you as the hero of the story or the heroine of the story here. Um, for some of you, they, they, they are addicted to you is what I'm getting. Um, passion for a journey of personal empowerment. But I feel my Capricorns, this is your energy. You're, you're focused on your work or you're focused on, on like something else right now. And you may not be realizing just how much this person feels for you. So again, do what you will with that information. Um, let's see what else you need to know about this connection. What else do my Capricorns need to know about this connection spirit? Okay, so yeah, time alone or nature will help you recharge. Maybe it has been an intense connection. So maybe you've pulled back your energy. Maybe, you know, again, this person is, they're showing me that Cancerian energy like crabs kind of, you know, when the when the when a wave crashes and it pulls back and you see the crabs sort of retreating that's what they keep showing me again it might not be that they have cancer in their chart but it's the energy firm boundaries are needed now okay so maybe some of you did put boundaries up here and try something you've never done before so i do feel a lot of my capricorns you might have retreated to focus on you know on your career goals or just on yourselves for a little bit this person I'm just going to repeat myself here. They're stressing. They're stressing about that. They're stressing about the connection. It's like they don't want to come off codependent, but they see you as their person. And spirit saying, go slow, take time to get to know each other. Okay. Really interesting messages there. Um, let's see. What other advice do we have here for my Capricorns regarding this person, regarding this connection? For some of you, this person, like you, like Capricorn energy tends to move slow to be very sure about um, 
you know, about someone before they like take the plunge or they, or they make some sort of commitment. And I just, this person, it's like eating them up. <laughs> I don't see that they necessarily are a person who likes to rush, but they sure are passionate about you. And I feel this person may even be trying to manifest you Capricorn. Okay. So we get the union of hearts, a love connection that defies explanation. So there is something here, Capricorn. There's there's definitely a strong soul connection if you want it. Be supportive. Make a genuine effort to show you care. Wow. Okay. And so for some of my Capricorns, that's a message for you. Because the, what I'm getting here is this person is stressing. They're stressing about how you feel. They're stressing about, you know, about what's up with this connection. So if you do care, you may want to reach out and let them know. Some of you, though, I feel like you're just, you're really busy is what I'm getting with the Two of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. Like you, you might not have a whole lot of time for this right now. And, and you know, that's okay. Remember the right person is, is not going to rush you or, or, you know, the right person isn't going to, you know, get away either. And um, turn on your heart light. Reflect on a time when you experienced love. So for some of my Capricorns, the advice here is that there's, there's love if you want it. If you need space or you need to take things slow, um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. You may want to express that to this person if you haven't already. It just feels like there's so much potential here, Capricorn, between you and this person. And we see simple acts of kindness. I feel that somebody here has animals. You, you both might really like animals or pets. Um, kindness energizes you and brings happiness to those around you. So I feel like this person is really kind. I also feel that's how they see you as well. That's something that you really connect on maybe with animal welfare or adopting animals, rescuing animals, or maybe you both have, you know, pets or things like that. Um, all right, Capricorns, I'm going to leave it here. If this made me a little bit like nervous and I think I'm picking up on your person's anxiety here about this connection. But again, trust your heart. Go slow. If firm boundaries are needed, put them in place. The right person isn't going to be scared off by that. All right, I'm sending you so much love and light, my dear Capricorns. Um, if these messages do resonate, don't forget to hit that like button and share, subscribe. Check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading. Or if you like the cards I'm using, I have those listed and linked down below. Love and light, Capricorns. Take care.